Welcome back to Overboard. I've just murdered my husband, and I've decided the best way to cover that up is by murdering every single other person on this ship. Yeah, we're going genocide route. <laughs> oh, so the morning after actually starts with different dialogue. I want that pass key. Good morning. I can ignore previous choices. So if I'm gonna get everybody, I should probably start with this guy. Hey, come in. Thank you, ma'am. Captain says we put into Liberty Island at 4 p.m. Your husband is up already, is he? Well, a bit more down. He's taking a bath. Ms. Villainsy, it is almost 9 o'clock. I'll tell him. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Breakfast is still being served. Oh, and one more thing. Yes, ma'am. I want a little whap. I grab the first thing I can. Yeah, the heavy dolphin. No, not the paperweight. <laughs> Got him. He falls like an old man down a West End theater fire escape. Oh, shit. The dolphin is dripping blood on the carpet. Well, I should do something about that. The dolphin itself. I should probably have that on me. You never know if I'll need it again. But now I think I should dispose of the body, right? Oh, first I can wash the dolphin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it without blood. Wash my hands of the blood. It won't come off. You're saying there's blood on my hands? All right, the body isn't there. It still hasn't walked off. The room is filling with a thick, heavy smell. Yeah, that body. Do you have anything in his pockets? What have you got? 20 pounds and his pass key. He must have dropped it when he fell. Is it under the bed? I reach the bed, get the fingers on the key. Yes, it's the pass key. Well, that will come in handy for murder. I should do something about that body. Yeah, under the bed he goes. He's sleeping. Oh, but his head doesn't fit. It won't go. Just get under the bed. I gotta really <laughs> shove him hard under there. Come on, almost there. Just one foot sticking out. Hide his foot. There, gone. <laughs> I should probably get going. I've got a lot on my schedule. Except I can't leave the dolphin like that. Yeah, I wanna wipe down the desk maybe? Red on red. Okay, I guess I'm putting the dolphin back. I don't have much of a choice here. I'm railroaded. All right, calm down. Just two murders in the span of a couple hours. Let's get moving. I'm shaking as I step out into the hallway. Maybe I should make it to the upper deck. Carstairs is there. I've got to do something about him. Ah, Mrs. Villainsy. Hey, let's go take a look at some dolphins. I appear looking for your diamond by any chance. Oh, he knows. Oh, he finds it if we're not fast enough. Goodness, you're right. I hadn't realized it was missing. You should be more careful, old fruit. I wonder how it got here. You came up on deck after me. Don't think about the details. Shall we take a turn around the deck? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Hey, look, there's dolphins in the water. Dolphins, you say? Doesn't seem likely, my dear. Water's too cold here for dolphins. But there's something down there. I check quickly. We're all alone up here. Good. Definitely there in the water. Lean over, look. Really? I can't see anything. Just lean a little further. Have a nice close look. I'm leaning as far as I bolly well can. And number three. Have a nice close look. Off the rail he goes. Elsa. And then he's gone. Wonder who that is. Either way, I've got some killing to do. Anders at the wheels looking back at me. So now we know this man has watched me commit two murders. But he'll still fall for me, surely. Well, until the obvious. How about I go to the forward cabins? Lady H, the drunkard lady. She should be easy to get rid of, right? Well, I don't need to check on car stairs, so I'll check on Lady Honoria Armstrong. She's probably drunk already. Think I could just barge in and get her? Who's gonna catch me? Use the passkey doors open easily. The inside of her cabin's tastefully arranged. She has her little medicines, a stack of books, a glass to put her teeth in. But no Lady H. There's an appointments diary out. There are tickets and a book about New York. All right, well, I gotta find her. Step back in the corridor. She's behind me. No, she isn't. But maybe I could wait until she gets here. Like, really wait until she gets here? Okay, I'll have to come back for her. How about Clarissa? She's a bit of a nuisance. So maybe I'll get rid of her. Yeah, sobbing from a nearby cabin. Ah, she's in. How about I go and knock on her door? Clarissa, you're in there. Go away. You're gonna want to talk to me. Are you threatening me? You witch! I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. 
That's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, there's a bit more to it. Have you seen Malcolm? Where is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing dumb again. Do I just go in and get her? Or I could bait her to be on deck. Screw it, I'm going in. Surprise! She jumps to her feet. Oh my god, what are you doing? Get out, you monster, get out! Now I've got you cornered. <laughs> Yeek! What are those papers you're hiding? None of your business. Get out! That's right, so she was having an affair with Malcolm. I could, like, go uh, full-on accuser, maybe get in a fight, and then... BAM! We are happily married until he met you. You took him from me. Ha! Huh. Is that what you think? He hated you. He'd always hated you. You could barely say your name without choking. Now get out. She shoves me with surprising force out the door. You weak bitch. Didn't even put up a fight. After all you've done, you can't even handle her. Let's try this again. Go away. Meet me on the upper deck. I never want to see your face again, ever. For your own good. Trust me. Trust you? Ha! Huh. I don't know if she'll go there. Maybe I should stop to see if she goes up there. 20 minutes auto buy, your door's open. Okay, this time I'll hide from her. Hide behind a potted plant. And then eventually Clarissa, Clarissa steps out and hurries up the passageway. Okay, good. She's to the upper deck. Yes, this is a good spot to go to. <laughs> I go back to the upper rail and there she is. Well, you wanted to talk to me? Out with it. Clarissa, you saw something. What is it you saw? I saw him fall, Veronica. I watched him die. Last night. And I will never forgive you. He fell off the boat past my window. You can't have seen him. Impossible. You can't expect anyone to believe this rubbish. I know what I saw. And you know too. I can tell from your face that you know. Oh, this is good, this is good. Pointing off the side of the boat. Yeah, down there, right over the edge. Is that your porthole? Maybe he was trying to look through your window to see you undress? Or had he seen that already? That's my portal. She leans out to sea. I glance up towards the bridge. I think I can see Anders at the wheel. <laughs> and he can watch me do a third murder. You can join him, Clarissa. Grab her by the waist. What are you doing? She's as thin as a child. No, wait. <laughs> ah! <laughs> glub, glub, gurgle. Honestly, fitting last words. She sounds like a kitten. No time for scrappy lines. I have more killing to do. There, now to get the smell off me. I'm not done yet. Maybe Lady H will be in her room now. Let's try the door now. I'm just gonna barge in. She's sleeping lightly. Oof, 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 oof. Well, well, well. How vulnerable you are. She's missed her pillow completely. Oh, the pillow. Well, now that you mention it, I can pick up that pillow. It's nice and plump. Decorated with embroidered dolphins. Those damn dolphins. Perfect for your face. Sleep well. Press down, she wakes and begins to struggle. Oh, come on. Come on, get her. It would, like, start kicking while she was a, like, bug on the back. And the killing blow. Uh, listen, we, we've done enough. We just gotta keep rapid fire and do this. She fights with the... Wild energy like an animal. Finish her. But she's no match for me. All right, I got her. Um, maybe double check she's not pretending. All right, nothing. Put the pillow down. Who else do I have left? I now have her diamond earrings, I think. Let's carry on. Uh, I guess there's the major. He's gonna be tough, because he's in the smoking room. And he's like a military general, so I don't think I can beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm like half his weight. Ah, oh, Malcolm's Jack is in the smoking room. And so is the Major. Good day to you. Yes, what a good day it is. Notice anything weird today? Please, I need your help. On the main deck, over the railing, there's something you need to see. Oh, yes? I think Malcolm has gone overboard. Are you quite serious? Well, I'm not going to confess. Deadly serious, I'm afraid. Well, then. Action stations, I'll talk to the commander, we'll get everyone together and see if we can't ferret out the truth! Wait, wait, oh, no. Uh, I don't think we need to investigate this, but you need to follow me to the balcony. Oh, this was a mistake. A big, big mistake. Hey, you think Anders will cover for me? <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, I'm in the restaurant. Thank you all for coming. All right, Anders. You're trying to assemble people. Oh, he's covering a little bit. Carstairs is locked in his room. Miss Turpentine is disappearing. I can't find her either. She's hiding somewhere. Yes, maybe I could pin it on her. It show so she's doing it very well indeed. Even the steward's missing. Good thing I hit it well. I'm glad you two came at least. This is villains he believes her husband has gone overboard. He's missing since last night. I'm worried, sick. Okay, excuse Oh, it's the maid! Lady Armstrong, she is dead. Okay, the maid faints. Good. This settles it then. Let me tell you a little something. Earlier today, Lady H confided in me. She told me she believed the ship was sinking. Last night, she said she heard something fall off the boat. Lady Armstrong was, perhaps without realizing it, reporting that she witnessed a murder, and now she is dead. My God. Indeed, Mrs. Villainsy. This tells me two things. Firstly, Malcolm Villainsy was murdered last night. Secondly, the murder is among us. Damn it. I mean, I guess I should have expected knowing what this game is. All right, list the suspects as hot log. Tell me why exactly did you kill him? I didn't. I mean, I got nothing. You did. And Lady Armstrong too because of what she saw? Mm, you have no proof. You have no proof. Oh no. Mrs. Villains, he pleads to come with me. Commander drags me out of the restaurant. <laughs> it was my evil twin sister. I thought you loved me. I had dreams. You're fine, but not enough to hang for. Please come with me. Well, looks like I'm under captain's arrest. All right, it's a big mistake telling the major there. Maybe I gotta play it smarter. I've made it back to the major. Everyone else is dead, but I've gotta play it cool this time. Let's have a nice chat. Veronica Villainsy. What did my husband say about me, huh? <sighs> I fear I may prove rather more discreet than your husband was. My apologies. Let's keep talking. He plays cards with you, Major? Yes, that's right. But between you and me, he's not really good at it. You must find him a new hobby. I'll bear that in mind. He harumps. Oh, a question, Mrs. Villainsy. Have you seen my good friend, Mr. Carstairs? I've accustomed to his company here, but I have not seen him since dawn. Oh, well, you know, he was walking on deck. If you lean over far enough, you might be able to see him. I think. He does enjoy a turn, that's true. Perhaps he's still there. Uh, you should go and look. Indeed, perhaps I shall. He stands, nods to me, and leaves the room. Oh, I will follow at a nice safe distance. Hopefully. Well, let's see. Is Anders about to witness a fourth murder? I think I have to take him by surprise here. Dude can probably take me in a fight. So, let's see. The hilt of his dagger sticks out of his belt invitingly. Ooh, I could use a knife. Quietly lift it. It's a pretty good weapon. Shaped almost like a dolphin. Oh, man. I'm forced to kill him, but how's the best way? Do we think I can force him overboard? He's heavy. Oh, let's try it. Oh, no. He turns and smiles. Ah, oh, this is villainy. Careful now, dear. He turns back. I can't just topple him. He leaves out even further to get a better view. Okay. He's just giving me another chance. I try to kill him. He's like, eh, fair play. Stab him in the back. Oh, lurches out over the rail, hands scrabbling. The blade is the only thing keeping him on the boat. Pull out the blade so he can fall. There. The splash doesn't come. With one hand, he's caught hold of a lower rail. Help me, Mrs. Villainsy, quickly. <laughs> you were looking for Mr. Garstairs, weren't you? He's down there. Get me up. Do it now before he's too late. Please help me up. But I use the dagger to pry his fingers free. What are you doing? What are you doing? How do you think you got here? You think it just fell by accident? Do you think your back stabbed itself? Twist the knife. Cuts into his fingers. Ooh, this is graphic. He's begging me. Come on. I need you dead for um, reasons. Sorry, Major. The knife topples from my fingers to the deck. Anders comes skimming down the ladder from the bridge. Well... Veronica, I saw what you did. Malcolm, I can understand, but the Major. Yeah, and Carstairs and Clarissa. I think you need to come with me. <laughs> I think I can't have a happy ending with the captain. I think I need to do him too. Wait, uh, look, Anders, dolphins. Maybe that'll work. There are no dolphins in the Atlantic, Veronica. He's careful to stand away from the rail. Stay back. 
Don't throw anything hasty, Veronica. I know you don't love me? Come away from the rail and we'll talk. It'll be all right, you'll see. Pick up the knife. Okay, that's helpful. For some reasons, Andrews puts his hands up. Veronica, what are you going to do with that? I just want us to be together. Damn, I'm uh, role-playing as a psycho. You know, it took me long enough to realize that. We'll talk about that. Just put it down. I take a step closer. Mm, step. I jab forward the dolphin-shaped knife. A no expert bike can hardly miss. He suddenly jerks bolt upright, his arms slammed against his side. Then he curves over a little. Croc! Sorry about that. A little rude of me, I know, but it is but a flesh wound. What the? Is Andrews a dolphin? What? Something's happening to him. Before my eyes, his skin is turning gray. His long, thin body is stretching and smoothing. Ah! Oh, I must be going absolutely mad. I'm going mad. I hate dolphins. What? <laughs> he bivs on his heels, ramming into me. I try to catch myself by become a dolphin. My arms won't seem to move. What? What happened to dolphin noises? It's all dolphin noises. He's behind me, his weight pushing me forward. We plunge together down. Oh, do we get to live happily ever after as dolphins? Yeah, maybe we can learn to like it after being one. So what actually just happened? Oh. Captain, there's something in the water. I don't believe it. Dolphins out here. Wonderful. Yo, the happy ending. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I think I killed everyone. I definitely didn't get life insurance, but you don't need that when you're a dolphin. Well, I still haven't gotten that life insurance, so I could try for that next time. Otherwise, that was pretty satisfying. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.